Hello beautiful people, my name is Jo. I finally finished all of my five star predictions. Last year I made a video listing five books that I thought were going to be five stars. It's taken me this long to read those books. I have everything from 2.5 stars to an actual five star. Let's talk about these books. So I am going to go from my lowest rated to my highest rated just to keep things funky fresh, you know what I'm saying? So unfortunately that means we are starting with Lifeblood by Amara Ray. This is book number one in the Immortal Coven series. This is a kind of witchy, warlock, captor-captive type situation. I really did not like the hero in this one. There is a Faded Mates aspect to the series, and because of that, the main hero kind of just felt like he had ownership of the heroine, and normally that kind of, like, mine language I really enjoy. It felt to me that he viewed the heroine as his property in a way and it just made me feel really really icky. It didn't do nothing for me my friends. I just didn't like that. I just didn't like either of them and I didn't believe their romance. I ended up giving a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It's unfortunate. I know it's unfortunate. Okay moving on. I am so sorry if the camera angle changed. I don't know what happened. I... Have, I don't know what happened. Next, we have The Black Lily by Juliet Cross. Reading this, you can definitely tell that Juliet has grown as an author between this book and the Stay a Spell series. In this series, we're set in a world that is pretty much controlled by a vampire monarchy. As time has gone on, more and more human bodies have been showing up with their throats ripped out. So our heroine, Arabelle, starts to organize this underground resistance called The Black Lily, and their first kind of big thing that they're going to do is assassinate the crown prince Marius. Obviously this is an enemies to lovers romance. I felt like I didn't connect with the characters as much as I would have wanted. I enjoyed everything but it was not a 5 out of 5 star read. It was a 3.5 out of 5 star read. Next we have Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake. This is book number two in the Bright Falls series. In this story we are following Astrid whose design company is kind of going under. When she gets the opportunity to help redesign the Everwood Inn for some sort of like HGTV type TV show, she jumps at the chance. What she is not expecting is Jordan Everwood, who is the granddaughter of the woman who owns the inn. Jordan and Astrid have very different views on how they want the Everwood Inn to look, so this sparks a sort of rivalry between them. This is a female-female small town romance. It's more of like a rom-com type feel. It's very fluffy and fun and I really enjoyed it. However, Astrid in this book makes some questionable decisions. Overall, I ended up enjoying the way that everything wrapped up and I gave it four out of five stars. Not a five. Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. This is a darker historical romance following a female pirate captain, her estranged cheating husband, and a pirate hunter. This is a thruple situation, okay? The vibes of this is kind of like dark season one an outlander, if you know what I mean by that, and Pirates of the Caribbean, obviously. I really fucking loved this one. I loved this one to death. The only thing that I wish that there was more of was time with our thruple towards the end when they're together and happy. I wanted more of that. There is a lot of sexual violence in this that I was not expecting right out the gate, but it was a fan-fucking-tastic ride. It's a beautifully written story. I would love to read more by Pam Godwin, especially if she writes any more pirate books because yo ho ho, I am on that ship. I did love this one. It wasn't a five. It was a 4.5. It was so fucking close. Resting Witch Face by Juliet Cross. This is book five in the Stay a Spell series. The Stay a Spell series is one of my absolute favorites. If you don't know what the Stay a Spell series is about, we are following the Savoie sisters who are witches in New Orleans. This is book number five. It is Reuben and Jules's story. From the beginning of this series, it has been hinted that Reuben and Jules had something go on with them. And in this book, we finally find out what happened with Reuben and Jules. It is a second chance romance. I actually finished this one today and I was literally in tears at work finishing this book. The climax of this book was in fucking sane and I could not put it down. I was internally screaming the entire time, but I absolutely loved the ending. It was so heartwarming and beautiful and it's five out of five stars. So there's the update for my five star predictions. 
I have realized that I fucking suck at predicting what I'm gonna rate five stars. I got one out of five correct. Stay tuned for my next failed five star predictions list, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.